Good morning, my baby dragons, my Scorpios. Please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest, okay? Not every story is for everyone. Um, Scorpio, stand your ground no matter what. I know, I know that you're probably getting some triggers. Uh, all you got to do is be honest, be truthful, understand what is true blue to you and, you know, other people's opinions are really not your concern at, at this time, at least at this time. Because you have a job to do. This is going to be a spiritual reading. So it's it's going to revolve around your ascension. So we're going to we're going to take a look into this. See what's going on. Five of swords, two of cups and the three of wands. Why do you feel that you have to fight for love? Real love comes on its own, Scorpio. You don't have to fight for it. But I feel like it's holding you up from a new beginning. Because uh, because you're, you're feeling like that's what you have to do to have it. Listen to your intuition, Scorpio. You don't have to fight for love. You may have in the past, but things have changed. I feel like you're in limbo right now and you feel like, I don't know, um, if you're watching other people around you, if you're single, you're watching people break up, you're watching the masks come off. And you're wondering why you have to wait. Or fight for it. You don't. That is not the way things are supposed to be. Your challenge here is to see through an illusion. 77, 577, seven, something is seriously changing in your life. You are not allowing anybody to feed you any more illusions, yeah, that, illusions about love or about your own thoughts. I feel like you are fighting a battle within that uh, you're, you're fighting through the illusions. You're fighting through uh, the lies, the deception. You are fighting through it all. You are a warrior. Understand that. You are a one of one, one. If you're on my channel nine times out of ten, you are on the same vibration, the same wavelength, and you're understanding what I'm talking about. And 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 you're a warrior. You're you're a soul warrior, which means that you may fight on your own. You may have, you know, to, to fight for life and fight for your world on your own. But you're going to tame that lion. Just know that. Okay? Know that you're going to tame that lion. Know that, that whatever this is, it w you will ride high on in there like the true warrior you are. The truth. The sword of truth. Seeing it, feeling it, making sure you ain't juggling it. There's only one. You know that. You know that. You're sitting in the Queen of Cups energy, real pretty light, even if you're a guy. Emperor, Queen of Cups.
whatever this is that's taking place could be a you know a legal matter with the king of pentacles you've already won I feel like you're going to be able to work it out. Even though this person wants to try to control everything. I feel like you've got a lot of people on your side. And I don't even mean that in the, in the, uh, on the earth. I mean like ancestral backup. Could be a father figure. But there's some kind of ancestral backup here. You're going to get your justice. Perhaps you just did something that kind of left you juggling finances. Was it a good investment? Yes. You did your due diligence. You, you checked it out first. Yes. Empress, Justice, King of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles. So whatever this investment or this uh, settlement possibly that you made was the right choice. It's going to allow you this luxury of being that sort of truth. That's opening up your throat chakra. Which is a good thing. Ten of wands. Dropping all that baggage. Wow. Nice. All by yourself. In the dock. But you're doing it really, really fast. I'm seeing somebody like candles, maybe some kind of candle magic. I don't know why I'm seeing that. But you see the, the light shining out from his chest? It's a swift, and you're doing it from a place of solitude. You're learning something new. You're getting clarity, and you're speaking your truth. Now you're waiting on the results. I don't think you're going to have to wait long. I feel like Leo season. That's the end of this month next in the middle, middle of next month. King of Pentacles again. Ooh, okay. So, this King of Pentacles is hiding something from you. And I got lovers behind the moon. Now, it doesn't have to be a king. It could be, a, you know, it could be a woman in masculine energy. Remember that the uh, cards have no gender. But somebody's keeping an offer they made to somebody else on the low low here. Then I feel like you getting your justice. Hangman and the Nine of Cups. With the King of Swords and the Ten of Swords. You're holding yourself up on purpose. Because you're waiting on your on, on a wish to be fi filled. And there I see you standing in your truth no matter what. No matter what the betrayal, no matter what the endings, no matter what transformation is coming through in your life right now. And I do feel like it's, a, it's an op opening of the throat chakra, which means speaking your truth no matter what. And then like holding back to see how everybody reacts.
the betrayal here that you have endured is pretty brutal. But you are releasing that. You're seeing it for what it is. And there's your wish fulfillment. You made a judgment here, despite if it stressed you out or not, it, despite whatever, whatever this was, you made a judgment here that changed into the Ten of Cups. Nine of Swords to the Ten of Cups. This is worrying about family. This is worrying about uh, if you're going to get it or not. Well, one judgment call changed it. It might have changed it from the Five of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, which is very nice. Very nice. It's coming out of darkness. I mean, this is, this, is, this is literally coming out of darkness. Will it take a little bit of time for you to get all the facts and be happy with the outcome? Well, yeah. I, I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that what I'm seeing is Leo season, but it, it you know... My readings are, are, I don't go past three months because I like to try to stay within that three month period because I'm usually pretty close to what's going on out, you know, out there. Uh, called COVID within three months. So usually that's the way my readings, I won't go past that. Because one decision is going to change this outcome. And it has something to do with the past life. And the Ten of Cups. We'll find out. I'm seeing you stepping over these swords. I don't know what that means, but I feel like maybe you were maybe you were stuck. Eight of Swords in your head. I've had helicopters going over all night. So just so you know. Um you're getting a brand new beginning from a place of being stuck. Taking this leap of faith despite what's been done. Like I said, I, I you you put a fork in it. You said, you know what, I'm done. Even if I gotta be on my own and by myself and in seclusion, I'm done. You got yourself unstuck by speaking your truth. From anything, any kind of energy in the past. By standing, being, and 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 sticking with only the facts. Not even not even putting I, I the only emotion I see here is for other people in in like a family dynamic or something like that. I feel a very protective energy. Like a mama bear here. And I feel like you broke free from something. Yeah, you broke free from people just giving you enough to keep you around. No longer settling for anything like that anymore. You're going forward. I feel like somebody just got some kind of settlement or is about to. They might not know it yet, but I don't know what I don't know what kind of settlement, you know, I don't know what's going on in in your life. Uh, but that's what I'm getting here, especially with this guy, cuz this is like, oh, well, I can give you this. And you're like, oh, hell to the no. And well, no, I feel like it's like a maybe and then a hell to the no. Um, because it's good offer. It's just what they're offering isn't what it seems. So remember that. It doesn't look like it really is. Let's see what this Three of Wands is about. What is this Three of Wands about? 
loveth and work. So you're waiting either for a job that you love or you're waiting on what you want doing your homework when it comes to work and play. Making sure you know what time of day it is with that magician energy and the four of wands. You're doing all this from a, from a place of stability and groundedness. You're not, you're not making these decisions like just, like I said, you're sticking with the facts. You know what, what's true to you in that Ace of Swords energy. You know, that is the only sword you need. You got a forked tongue and a, and a stingy tail, too. So <laughs> you, you definitely a warrior. Something has come to a close. And because you found out everything you needed to know, you got clarity. You're crystal clear. Whatever you had to defend yourself against here. You're waiting on love. Real love. Not some chump change somebody's willing to throw at you anymore. That's the only thing you're waiting on right now. Waiting for your ships to come in. Like I said, I don't think you'll have to wait much longer. Don't get in your own way here. Okay? Because I do see new love coming towards you. A healing in the heart chakra. So, it w if, if we get that heart chakra online with the throat chakra, we can get that third eye on. And that's what we're looking for here. We're trying to get that third eye being crystal clear. That doesn't mean that you're going to have an eyeball in the middle of your head. If it's any more than a light show, then you're astral traveling. Okay? But it does allow you to see things clearer because it's the mind's eye. You batten down. You you, you kind of in your own way right now. And 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 I'm not saying that like it like it's it's a bad thing. It's like you're just really really super duper guarded. You're not letting anything in. But something is coming to a close. Something here about maybe what you thought this was. That's why you're so defensive now. Because whatever whatever transpired here, you found out the truth. And we got this slowing down to hurry up. I don't know what that means, but it's like... Slowing down to hurry up. I am in the middle of Hollywood, guys. Um, like I said, you're dropping a lot of burdens here. You're letting a lot of things go. And you're doing a damn good job of it. You're letting a lot of things go, and you're, you're keeping on keeping on. What is this Ten of Wands about? Ah, come on. I'm getting some something here. It's healing a family line. Sorry. Um, so, 
I got a mother and a father here. And a four of wands. This is the home and the four of swords. So this is healing a family lineage or, or something of that nature. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Um so what is being healed here? It could be a situation at work, but I'm feeling more like this is this is all a family line that you were born into that was probably toxic. I'm not seeing the devil. But there's definitely some kind of... Sorry, guys. I'm really doing my best right now. <laughs> you can't tell. Um, so we got this... Uh, and I feel like there are a lot of disturbances around you. I mean... Between last night and this morning, I had helicopters flying over my apartment for like three hours last night. And now this morning, you know, I mean, kids going out. And now I got the lady, the people next door coming out and they talk really loud before, you know, I mean, there's a lot of disruptions happening in your life. But you are choosing to stay solid, which is after the Three of Swords, which is, you know, it, it really, it gets better. Whatever this is, Scorpio, it's getting better. It's healing. It's being allowed. All this is being allowed to be exposed so this healing can happen. And, and, and it's actually quite beautiful. What I see happening here looks very beautiful. And it feels like it's going to allow you to heal your chakras, which is wonderful in itself. We got to get that third eye going if you ain't got it on yet. We need you guys. <laughs> we need you. Gosh. My goodness. I can't do anything about it, guys. Can't do nothing about it. It's outside me. I just got to kind of keep going. I think they're finished, hopefully. So, yeah. King of Pentacles, Hierophant, Justice, and the Nine of Pentacles. Pre-Empress Energy. Being able to be alone, stand on your own. And come to terms with a situation that is for the better 2333 you might be even getting married i mean this this might be somebody who's getting married be careful what you wish for okay that's all i'm gonna say about that you know it, it, it's like i feel like you know, as far as a relationship goes here, I do feel like somebody's jumping from the fire into the frying pan. In a way. Now, in another way. I feel like this is what you're healing. Toxicity, heartbreak, pain, and control. You can't control everything outside of you. Just as you've witnessed in this video. You can control you. If you so choose to do so. Queen of Wands, the glow up is real here. After heartbreak, after pain. 
A whole bunch came out. Give me a sec. A new opportunity. There's the third eye. I knew it would happen. I knew you could do it. So this is all one reading. It's in now time. It could be, like I said, my readings don't, don't go past three months. So I'm getting the Ace of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Cups. You Eight of Cups and that ass. Like I said, with the Nine of Pentacles after the Hierophant here, I do see possibly a breakup in a, a breakup situation where you just you just had enough enough's enough you want what's what's right what's due to you so you can heal so you can keep moving this might be even a home i do feel like you you're you're going to get a new opportunity out of it This is somebody who goes after what they want. They usually get it. I feel like I, I feel like there's this is like paperwork that needs to be signed so you can get so you can walk away. So you can eight cups that ass. Whatever this is, I feel like you're just you're just getting rid of it. It's it's like, all right. Show me where to sign. I just got to go. I got to go. I can't hang here no more. It's like, it, it's got you in limbo. You're making a choice to keep going. To, to charge ahead. To face any enemy. And, and, and I'm almost feeling like it's like, Chariots of fire. Has anybody ever heard that? Heard that? Uh, what is it? It's a uh, instrumental, but it's a orchestra. I don't know why I'm getting <laughs> getting that for you, Scorpio, but that's what I'm getting. Chariots of fire, bitches. <laughs> You guys kill me sometimes. I love it. Oh, yeah. Going with your whole heart. Your whole heart. You the boss. You may not be able to control things outside of yourself, but you are definitely controlling yourself. The sun and the stars again. I do feel like there's a real, true relationship coming in for you after a lot of heartache and sorrow and pain because you stood in your truth. And and is this person trying to stick you? Are they are are they are they trying to get you back in your head? I don't think they can. I don't think this per especially anybody from the past. You are not allowing them to be in your head and, and live free no more. You are moving into a new shift, a new paradigm, a new reality. And all it took was that leap of faith. And keeping the past on a dangle until you decided where you were going to take that leap. I like it. I like it. It's like, bitches, you can wait till I decide because you're toxic AF. And I see you. I see you. You're leaving them behind. You're leaving something behind here. And it has something to do with this toxic, controlling, obsessive energy. You understand what this is now. 
You understand that this is some kind of demon been hanging over your head for some time. And you're defeating it. Congratulations. Congratulations. My hands, uh, I'm having an issue with my hand, my left hand, guys. I have nerve damage in my arms and my neck, so these things are not surprising to me, but I haven't had any problems with the last couple days. Now, all of a sudden, during your reading, I get all these interruptions and pain in my left hand. Wow. I feel like you're definitely defeating a devil here. Like I said, congratulations. Sometimes that's not always easy to do. Yeah. <laughs> Taking that leap of faith. Okay? You took a leap of faith away from this toxicity, away from this feeling stuck, away from this being, feeling like you're in some kind of void, hold up, waiting for the next step. And you moving on, you saying, fuck you. <laughs> I'm taking what's mine and I'm leaving. Five, six, six. So we got a six, six here. We have a five of pentacles, a six of swords. It, it, you definitely leaving something out in the cold and taking what's yours and leaving. You're taking a risk on yourself because you care more about your integrity than you do about whatever this situation is. It's not a bad place to be, Scorpio. It's not a, bla not a bad place to be. To be in your integrity above all else. Like I said, this is speaking your truth no matter what. No matter what anybody thinks, no matter what anybody says. You are getting what's owed to you. And what's fair. Even if it means having, defeat, having to defeat a devil which is obsessive controlling energy. You will prevail. 6-6 six, six tells me that. Because that's balance. That's coming in back into balance after quite a rough time here. And, and, and then there's some beautiful stuff going on here too. So don't think it's all bad. It's not all bad. You are... You, this is the final boss battle. Before the new beginning. You're overcoming something here that it was a family line that you may have had to clear all by yourself. I know that feeling. And the last final boss battle is happening right now because of the Capricorn full moon. You will prevail in this, Scorpio. Don't even don't even second guess it. Because you're 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 a lot stronger than whatever this is. I'm seeing you toss somebody like like an old rag. But it's going, this healing that's going on, like I said, is going to bring your third eye on. It's your heart chakra, throat chakra. So as the energy, your chi moves up, start doing qigong. That, that will help move your energy around a little bit. Uh, it's Q-I-G-O-N-G. -I, I believe that's how you spell it. It's qigong. And it's, it's, a, it's a way you can help manipulate your energy to start freeing up your chakras because I feel like there's you're about to burst right here about to burst and when it does burst 
then on comes the third eye and you're going to be able you, to use your intuition to guide you to the next thing that is that is your ascension process and the next thing is you the boss you the boss of it all you walking away from all of the, any and all toxicity in your life. You're leaving it behind. So you can have that next best thing. Which, it's you to boss. And once, once you get that third eye going, you get your crown. You get king. King me. Because I do feel like this is masculine energy. Whether it's you're male or female. I feel like you're the one that is going to be king, male or female. But you're working on getting your crown. You're almost there, Scorpio. Almost there. Don't even doubt it. Yeah, there's a family room here. So there's 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 definitely some kind of fortune. There's some legal documents that need to be handled here, and I, I don't pretend to know what that is because I'm just seeing documents being signed. And ho someone holding on to their honor. Because whatever this person or these people were doing, it, had, it has something to do with the family line, okay? Family secrets, family line. And you're going to find out about it. And it's going to lead to great fortune and, and, and possibly some kind of settlement. For you holding on to your honor and your family's honor. It could be mother energy or father energy. I do feel that. Parent, parental energy. Whether they're in, still in your energy or not, what you're going through right now is possibly because of their line and the line before them and the line before them. And like I said, I'm feeling a whole lineage being healed here. And does it take you through some dark places? Absolutely. But when you come back out the other side of this, it's going to be awesome. You will be able to start again into a whole different, a whole different reality. So this is, I love you, Scorpio. <laughs> what I'm hearing is I'm leaving these broke-ass bitches behind. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> I'm leaving these broke-ass bitches behind. And I'm doing me. Um, so, yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's get... Uh, let's get a couple of healing waters and, and, and maybe a, a Isis card here. Leaving these broke ass bitches behind. Alrighty then. I can't put that in the title, but I wish I could. They do too much checking on me when I when I put anything. Even if even if I, I disguise it, they even check it. Alright. So follow the stream. Dedication, trust, and I do feel like there's a lot of dedication in this. I mean I feel like it's balls to the wall, man. <laughs> like there is no stopping you. From whatever you are wrapping up here. You are like. Like I said. I don't even remember what I said. It was something about. Chariots of fire. That's what I was saying. Like that's what I'm feeling here. 
I don't even remember what it what it what it is, but I don't even remember what that sound is. But I remember that those words. Future rivers and oceans. So this all revolves around the future rivers and oceans in your life and the ones you left behind. Okay, 66. This is Isle of Avalon, healing, returning to wholeness and transformation. I would say so, big time. And being a gentle force. Consistency, persistence, patience, and the long game. You know where you stand here. And you know you got this long game. But you're being very persistent and diligent and determined and, and going after being the boss. Even if it's just being a boss of your family. Don't let anybody's toxicity get in your way, Scorpio, because they will try. Yes, they will try. They always try, because that's just agents of the matrix. The devil going to give you one last battle before you reach that wholeness that you're looking for. And it has something to do with your family line. And the disruptions in your life that keep happening over and over again. I mean, we've been here 41 minutes and out of those 41 minutes, at least 30 minutes of that has been a disruption. So that tells me that there is a lot going on in your energy and, and, and it's trying to keep you in a place where you're not, you're not focused and, and it's, you're not letting it. I mean... It's like you're just barreling through with your chariots of fire and saying, you know, get the fuck out of my way. I'm leaving you losers behind. I'm leaving you broke ass bitches behind. And, and this is, but this is allowing a healing inside you. It, it's, it has nothing to do with them. It is allowing that heart and throat chakra to heal, to come online, and then boom. The lights are on. Don't let that frighten you because it's going to be surreal at first if, if you haven't already gone through this yet. Okay, you might be experiencing little bits and pieces of it now. Maybe that's why you're holding yourself up right now. So you can get a good grasp on that before you move forward. Alright, so this says the key to life. The um. Portends new life being born through you now. This new life being born, I can't see this because it's purple. Being born, and the, and the writing's purple too, is whatever form will enrich your life, bringing you more into wholeness and fulfillment. Do not Give up on your creative des destiny. Stay with it. This could all be about some kind of creativity too. It doesn't have to be about relationships. But like I said, you're breaking a generational curse here. And it's happening. It is definitely happening. Stay with it. You are flowing in the right direction. And you have spiritual support. From the unseen worlds. I told you, you had ancestral help here. I don't know mother, father kind of energy, but you have some kind of a. Go get yourself an unk, which is just, or, or just a representative of that. That is, where's mine? I lost one of my earrings, so I had to take them out. But what, I thought I had one right here in the. Yeah, this. That is what an unk is. All right, go get yourself some kind of charm or something like that that you can wear to keep reminding you to stay with it, whatever this is. Then you got Mother of Life. This says, 
When life seems dry, depleted, filled with repetitive tasks, or simply stagnant and stifled, ice is the mother of life, holds the ability to revive even the most numb, resist, numb, my hand went numb, resistant and difficult circumstances in life. She calls to you now, seeking to bestow gifts of life upon you. Be bold and brave. Open your arms and receive it. And I do feel like that's what's happening here. You are receiving downloads and blessings and ancestral help to help you get yourself from a place of being stuck and stagnant and feeling like you're just, you can't move into a place of reception. Letting what be, be, and allowing it to leave your life once and for all so you can keep moving. And, and this is, this, this card's telling you to keep moving, no matter what. And the other one said the same thing. The flow. Go with the flow right now. Because you're taking your power back from all these people. From the devil himself. You're taking your power back. Chariots of fire. Hmm. And you're doing it quite forcefully. It's a, but it's a gentle force. Because this is like a subconscious thing that you're doing in maybe the ether with the things that have been encompassed your life in stagnation. Family secrets, you know? And, and you're, you're allowing what is for what can be, which is wholeness and fair to you. All right? Those are your messages, my baby dragons. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. And if you'd like a personal reading, all my information is in the box below. Take care. Love you.